we can take all those treaties around the world, take the best out of all of them, plus out, and come up with something unique, whatever, if treaties are the way to go. But I think we all got to start with ourselves. I was a brainwashed fool half my life. Still am in some ways, I suppose. Murray drink and smoke a nurry. Uh, you drink and smoke, I drink like a fish and smoke like a bushfire. But, um, you, you, gotta, you know, like, we've been from birth. Samuel Terry mentioned before that uh, we've been colonised. A definite effect of colonisation. And that's the power of education. I thank uh, everyone who fought for our education. But um, it's, a, it's emancipating, enlightening, you know, free your bloody mind. We shackles came up in 67, but 99% of us shackled up here for sure. And that's why the blacks are on the black. You know, we write for cats to kill cats. It's just the dogs we're afraid of. They don't kill it for poor fellows like us, most like us, he's got less chance of employment, more chance of dying young, et cetera, and they want to kill them. Instead of bastard who's dispossessed us or taken and turned our power off or something. But it's, it starts with us from birth. We've been col colonized, we've been taught in an in a alien system that has made us like them. We have to throw away their things. Not just, you know, not their physical things, because we we're always culturally adapting te te to technology. Way before whites ever come, six, eight hundred years with the Indonesians. Go from a single canoe to outrigger and sail, metal axe, whatever, and a pipe and tobacco. But um, we've got to emancipate ourselves because. We look at Aboriginal and we talk some like Aboriginal. We've got some bush hunting skills and this and that, but we're not thinking Aboriginal. But the people who thought Aboriginal are people who speared the shit out of Cook and them. What the hell are these fools doing here? They bang, bang. We've been told from birth, you know, nursery rhymes, every bar bar black sheep. Witches dress in black. Black Friday. Cold, dirty black. White, pure. You know, nice. Angels, fluffy, Christmas, Santa Claus. That has an effect on you long term after a while without even knowing it. So at home, when we play pool, the black ball sits the white. The white is the black ball at the end of the game. We reverse it. <laughs> but seriously, just little things like that. But it starts with each of us on our own. You know, they took my tribal grandmother, my dad, mum and them, and gave them English names and forced them out of the scrub into the thing after shooting their husbands and everyone. And they, and they try to give them English names, all this and that. Well, that's the last, I don't know, since 1920s at home. That's why I went through law. They wiped out our law, but I went and found someone with law. Borrowed a little mob and went through there. Any Aboriginal law is better than no Aboriginal law. Any Aboriginal language is better than no Aboriginal language. I wanted to find my Aboriginality. I'd grown up as a black fellow in the black fellow region. And I had my skills and a bit of lingo and all that, but that's not what I meant. I thought like a white fellow. I was born in uh, whatever, a little uniting church. Went to one boarding school, they made me Anglican, got expelled from that, they made me a Catholic. I'm back went back to where I come from as a heathen. But, uh, no, no. We, no, no, we got our own religion, and that's what I mean, uh, you know, Tua Tu Pujamala Mambalia, the rainbow is, is you, know, the, you know, what some people refer to as God, and we're going to buy our goodie dough, but a devil, whatever, all the same around the world, but, and I'm going to go to church, this is the church here, this is my fellow parishioners, our church is how we treat each other and treat the country every single moment. But we picked up their religion, we picked up so many of things, and we, it makes us think like that. So I went to relearn, and I uh, changed my name to my, uh, one of our most tribal names, my uncle and that, because you come full circle. What they did to my grandmother then, you wasted 80, 100 years, mate, giving us English names, doing all that. And uh, my children, unlike me, won't have that identity cry. They're all born from the day they're born. They got no English name. Mangubari, Jari, Marnu, Milmaja, Mali, Maya. Samora and Binji Gamara. That's all my kids. And that's just their first name. Their whole, they got their skin name, put a second name and all that. You know, I had to learn and find it, all that. And go and find it. But um, but I was finding myself. And, uh, you know, you can't change your household, your family, your community, your state, the world. It all start here. You try to do all that, and you're going to come to 70 year old on your deathbed and realize I should have changed myself first. Then by doing that, I would have changed my family, my community. I think, you know, so um, to me, that's why I changed my name went through law to find my Aboriginality. And um, it's our power and it's, you know, it's not, I know, it's, around, it's not all of us think Aboriginal. And uh, that's what really scares government and people when you think Aboriginal. And don't, we, we shouldn't just talk about uh, sovereignty or land rights, we should act. That's how we pluck shit out of the big mid air in the Gulf, you know, and bail any bastard. What are you doing here, mate? I got a bloody fishing permit for the. Take that fishing permit back to Brisbane, wipe your ass with it. We don't recognise it. It ain't worth nothing from here. 
You don't have half the mission, you don't belong here. We're, and, and we're gonna stop, reverse the ripple up their nets and pots, or bashing them at night, whatever. We do that too if we got the numbers in that free, whatever. Whatever goes, you know, but uh, to sit by and simply complain about it is not good enough. We, um, but yeah, you, if you don't talk about it, act like it. And they are so used to us not acting like we're talking, ah, that's our land and that's, well, they're not even here to block this or that, you know, that um, it scares the shit out of them when you do start acting like it. Uh, you'd be amazed. It's so empowering. No lawyers, no money, no government, but boom, boom, boom. Things just fall into place. They run around like chooks with their head chopped off. You're just there to sit in or something. Enjoying yourself, but bang, things happen. And we keep going back to their courts and their parliament and keep going to money for government when we know where that leads. And what I said the other day, we're clever people. We don't keep repeating mistakes. So, um...